never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, 'cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. 'Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you. You're making me wanna try forever, and I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. I was never the one to give up the ghost. No, I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up 'cause nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear, and now that you're here, I see colors in every spectrum. Guess I finally learned my lesson. 'Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you you take all my wrongs and make 'em better. Yeah, you you're making me wanna try forever, and I feel so free. Oh my sweet baby. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. I had so much things on my to-do list today. When I got up this morning, I just didn't feel like doing any of it, but I had to fold our clothes, I had to fold Mateo's clothes, and wash the towels. I already folded all the clothes, put everything away. I washed the towels, folded them, put them away, so the laundry's all done. And it's like not even 11 o'clock, which is really nice. Mateo is down for his first nap already. I already did my workout. Today I need to go to Walmart, I need to go to the post office, I want to go to the Ashery, just things like that, kind of getting some random things that we're gonna need for this week. I need to get some stuff for the dogs because five puppies can really start to stink and I haven't done any research so I'm not really sure when I'm allowed to give them a bath and stuff like that, but right now they are still in their whelping pen and actually tonight when Chip gets home from work, we are planning to move everything, all of them, all of their stuff down to the basement, get a whole big setup for them. So I need to go to Walmart and get some stuff for the dogs like pee pads and I wonder if they make teeny tiny little dog collars because we're gonna have to have some way to tell them apart. This never works well, but I'm gonna take my huge tripod out there and show you guys what the puppies are looking like right now and what's happening. We have Sage down there eating and drinking and then here are the puppies. <laughs> See, <laughs> they are so mobile. Look at that one wagging its tail all the time. That one is the most mobile one. We keep saying that that one's like the little sage. But here they are, they're getting so big. Look how little, hello there. Oh, they are so grimy and dirty feeling because, so we changed this carpet. This is the third carpet that we're on, but it is starting to stink and we don't have any more carpets. And it's just getting a little crowded for them now that they're more mobile. So we're definitely going to have to move them down there. And like we just gave Sage a bath like yesterday, but she already stinks so bad and it's because she has to lay in there to feed them and the thing stinks because they pee in there and all that stuff. And so as soon as they're allowed to have baths, we need to give them some because it's it smells. Peekaboo! Yeah, we keep saying that this one here is the most like Sage because it's the most like little ornery thing and Sage is just so much like that. It's super active and it wags its tail a lot. That one back there does too. This one here is the huge one. His name is Bear. <laughs> he needs a bath, I think, worse than any of them. Maybe if you guys know, let me know in the comments if I'm allowed to give them baths right now. Okay. Um... This wall is supposed to, it's literally made so they can't get out of here. I guess she, oh my word, is she gonna get out? <gasps> okay, that makes me nervous. But yeah, I'll probably put it in the vlog tonight when we get everything set up for them and all of that stuff. But yeah, this one's name is Bear. He's so big, but let me know in the comments if I'm allowed to give them baths now or if we need to wait or yeah, what we need to do, if anybody knows. When am I allowed to give a puppy its first bath? Once your puppy is at least three months old, it's time to start using shampoo and conditioner. So I bet we could bathe them, but just no shampoo. They can't go without a bath for that long. So that's the puppy situation. They're gonna get all situated tonight and I'll get it on the vlog for you guys and stuff. So you can see, it'll be kind of fun. 
But today, all that aside, I think what's gonna happen today, my sister-in-law is gonna stop in and see the guys at work. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go with her, take Mateo, and we're gonna go see Chip at work. Take you guys along, see their job site and how it's going and whatever. But then I wanna go get some groceries. But before I do any of this stuff, I have something so fun that I'm about to do to the house. I actually have several house updates that, like DIY house updates that I'm going to be doing. We are repainting our bathroom, or I'm gonna repaint the bathroom. Chip gave me the go ahead to go ahead and start painting it, so I have some paint samples that I wanna get on the wall today, but I can't paint yet until I have, I need to get paint brushes and stuff like that. I just have some old ones that will work just for the samples, but I don't wanna use those to actually paint the room. But I'm gonna show you guys what I'm hoping to do. This is the bathroom right now. It's It looks black, but it's actually like a really dark, deep green. And I like it okay, the contrast and whatever, but I just, I'm getting really sick of it. It's been three years and I've, you know, I've stuck it out this long and I really have liked it, but I'm actually gonna paint it like, I'm going for a nice taupe color to just kind of make it a little bit more light and airy, make it be a little bit more open in here. So these are the two paint options I have. These are from Mount Hope Hardware, in case anyone's curious. It looks like this one is called Fisherman Knit, and then this one is called Wind Jammer. So I'm not quite sure which one I'm gonna go with, but just by looking at them, I like this one a lot better. This one looks a little bit too yellow, light colored, and I feel like it won't show up enough against this white tile. So I'm really excited to see how this one goes. But I think I'm gonna put these on the wall once and see what we like. When we painted our house, I made the mistake of not getting any paint samples before, not testing anything on the walls. And now the gray turned out way too blue. And so I told myself, never again will I ever paint without trying samples first. Because if I would have known that it was gonna look the way it does, I never would have gone with the color that's throughout kind of our whole house. So that's kind of a bummer, but it feels like a huge undertaking to try to repaint all of that. So we're just leaving it. But the bathroom is a small enough undertaking that I'd feel fine about it. So here they both are. They actually look very similar with the lids off and everything. This one is a teeny bit darker than this one, but I feel like they'll look more different on the wall than what they do just in the cans. So I guess we'll see. Here is the difference. It's really hard to tell in real life. It's pretty hard to tell a difference, but it's even harder on camera, I feel like. But you can tell a little bit that this one is just a little bit more dark. This is more creamy. I definitely know I don't wanna go with this one. I think it'll match the tile too much. If anything, I would want, I would take this one over that one, but even still, it just looks really like, if I cover up this black line here, you know, it matches the tile pretty good yet. And I just don't know if I want it to match that much. I feel like it might look a little bit too much the same. But I wanna let these dry completely, see them in different lights, cause right now it's really cloudy out today. This color here is the one I'm leaning towards. Over here, it's this, this is the color I'm leaning towards. I had thought that I would do my paint samples this morning, then I would run to the hardware today and get the paint that I wanted. But now that I'm not quite certain about either of these paints, I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna rush into it and just buy my paint now. So I might need to go though some at some point and try a different color maybe? Not quite sure. Do you wanna go see dad? You wanna go see him work on the fence? Yeah, you do, don't you? So exciting! You wanna be on the vlog? <laughs> this is the black aluminum fence they're putting in. It looks really good. Mm -hmm. If anyone needs a fence, you know who to contact. <laughs> we got you. Should I link your Instagram below? 
Yes, actually. Do <laughs> okay. All right, so we just got done visiting Chip at work, like you saw. So right now where I'm headed in to get my groceries, I'm headed to Walmart right now. And if I have time, I might go to the thrift store, but I just don't know if I will because I still need to go to the Ashery yet and the post office. Yeah. My P.O. box is set up with automatic payments and we're getting a new card. So I have to go in there and update all of that information because for some reason it won't let me do it online. So I'm going to go in there too on my way home and I, it's already like, it's quarter after 12 right now and I need to figure out what we're having for supper. So it should be fun. Of course, we've got to stop to give the little boy his bottle. Yeah. Say we like our bottles. Yeah, we do. All right, we are back from Walmart and from the Ashery and didn't film anything. Kind of guess that's the way it was going to go, but I'm going to show you guys what I got really quick. At Walmart, I got some chicken thighs and some chicken tenders. Nice to have on hand. I think we're going to have some tonight of the tenders. A water bowl for Sage. There we are. Hello. Some deodorant for me. I really love the Arm & Hammer brand and it's aluminum free and it's pretty inexpensive. So really like that. I also got these little deodorizing wipes for the puppies because I'm not going to give them a bath right away, but they really stink. So they're going to use that. I got some more almond milk, half and half for my lattes, some avocados, eggs. This stuff from here on out is from the Ashery. We got some milk, eggs. I've got some frozen custard here, twist and vanilla lettuce. And I'm decided I'm gonna have get these hash brown patties. I feel like they would be really good for breakfast and stuff. Some cheese and meat, more cottage cheese for Sage because she's nursing and it helps produce milk. I got some organic honey. I love this honey. Such a cute little label too. It's just really cute onions and tomatoes. So nothing too crazy or anything, but it was just a bunch of stuff that I was out of. We needed on hand and stuff. So I should probably put all these away because they've been out for quite a while. I'm really peeved right now because I got these kind of expensive pee pads that stink in Walmart and they don't even stick. Like, I thought all pee pads have to stick to the floor. Not sure. Alrighty, puppies. This is the setup we got. And a very fussy boy. We've got this carpet blanket laid down. We've got a nice little cozy rug for them here, or a bed. Once they're weaned, they've got their food and water that they'll have then. We are gonna try these little deodorizing wipes for dogs and puppies and see if it works and helps them smell better. Never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, 'cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. 'Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make. Okay guys, it is now the next day. I finally finished cleaning everything up in the sunroom. I did sweep and mop all the floors, but I didn't get that in the vlog. I don't know why, but uh, it feels so good to have this place back in order. I almost forgot what it looked like to have it look so nice. And literally, it's already smelling so much better out here. Those puppies, man oh days, they were starting to stink, poor little guys. I am gonna light this candle. It smells 
so good and we need all the good smelling stuff we can get. Raising dogs, or I shouldn't say raising dogs, but having puppies in your house is no joke. Like, everything stinks. <laughs> Honestly though guys, I cannot tell you how much I have felt so stressed over the whole puppy situation. Just with having a baby and stuff, I just know it's not going to be for me. But I'm glad we at least tried it once, but I'm going to be so glad to sell all of these little guys. So please, buy our puppies and relieve me of my responsibilities at least a little bit because I wish Mateo was a little older and he could help with them and stuff but like I have to do everything for him and for the puppies and it's just which Chip helps too I'm good grief I'm making it sound like I don't have any help and I do have help but it's just been a very a very large source of stress in my life lately <laughs> but this helps me feel better getting my sunroom back in a nice cozy atmosphere we got them all situated down in the basement. They're doing really good down there and they're so cute how they run around and just play with each other and they're, yeah, they're really adorable. All right guys, a very happy package just came in the mail. I'm gonna show it to you and we will unbox it together. I have been not so patiently waiting for this. And I've been wanting one of these for a long time and I just never did it. So I had, Chip and I, we had a, rather large Amazon gift card and so we both bought some stuff. Let me show you what Chip got actually. This is what Chip got. What is this even called? It's a putting mat and that's what he got with his share of the gift card. And then this here is what I got. Now we will finish unboxing. Here we go. Oh, this is so nice. My very own Kindle e-reader. I'm so excited for this. I used to have a Kindle when I was like, you know, before I was married. And I actually got rid of it since we were married, but it was one of those like touch screen ones. Like, well, I say touch screen. It was one of, it was the Kindle Fire. And so it was more like an actual tablet. Like you could get apps on it and stuff like that. I just didn't use it very much. I wanted something that I could read at night without having to have a light on or anything like that and so this here this is just the basic Kindle and you know how like your screens can be so hard on your eyes because they are backlit like your phone has a backlit screen and a Kindle has a frontlit screen so it makes it more like reading an actual page of a book like it the screen is like that if you can kind of see the texture that I'm talking about so oh I'm so excited for this I got a case for it but the case isn't coming till I think Saturday maybe but you guys should leave me all of your good book recommendations I enjoy fiction I enjoy nonfiction I enjoy like what are they called I wouldn't say self-help books but kind of like inspirational books babe are biographies where they write their story or is that an autobiography I can't remember um, I think autobiography. Uh, no Anyway, I like when people write their stories, like a true story, but it's like they wrote their story. And I can't remember if it's a biography or autobiography, whatever. Give me your good book recommendations and I'm gonna start reading on this thing. I'm so excited. Anyway, I'm gonna close out this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you for watching and I will see you guys next week very soon in my video on Wednesday. Bye.